about today a little bit is building a new pond. And the ponds that we traditionally deal with with the Natural Resources Conservation Service are smaller ponds than what Division of Water Resource is going to require permits for. Uh, so usually we don't have to deal with the, the permitting issues, uh, at least with DWR. Now, one thing that, that was not covered this morning is that if you are building a structure on what is called a blue line stream, which we have uh, topographic maps that are put out by the United States Geological Survey, and if there is a blue solid line or a dotted blue line on that stream, it's considered waters of the U.S. Now, if you're going to build a structure across the waters of the U.S., you have to get a Corps of Engineers permit. The Corps of Engineers permit is not a huge deal to get. Uh, you do have to submit a detailed set of plans, construction plans, um, but that particular permit, at least at this point in time, does not cost you any money. Uh, you just have to submit it to, to the Corps, and then the Corps will send you back a permit that says everything's fine, go ahead and do it. Uh, we've never had one that was turned down by the Corps yet. They just want to know what's going on. Um, so that being said, uh, some rough rules of thumb if you're going to be building a new pond around here. In eastern Kansas, we usually look for a drainage area of 12 to 15 acres of runoff for every surface acre that you want to maintain on the pond. If you get much less than that, uh, you're going to get extreme fluctuations in your pond level. You don't get enough runoff to keep it full, and uh, you'll get those big extreme fluctuations. Uh, See, trying to think of, of some of the other rules of thumb. Uh, if you are going to build, actually in Wyandotte County and in Johnson County at this point, uh, you do not have to have a permit to build a, a pond from the county. Uh, so that's a, an issue that you don't have to deal with. Uh, traditionally, what you're going to want to do is get either an engineer or NRCS, if it's a, a smaller pond, uh, to give you some basics as far as design. And each site is going to be different. You know, you've got some draws that are very steep with the side slopes that don't take a whole lot of fill to, to dam up. Some of them are wide, broad uh, types of, of draws. It's going to take more to do. Um, so, you know, you, I always hesitate to tell people just to get a contractor and turn them loose. The problem being with contractors and turning them loose, a lot of the contractors are very good. I don't, don't mean to be putting the contractors down. But they're in the business of moving dirt. They get paid for moving dirt. So a lot of times they're going to build you something bigger than what the site actually will support simply because they get paid more for doing it. It's just business. It's business. So that's why I recommend you know, getting a hold of, of an engineer, getting a hold of NRCS. Um, we are a little limited as far as actual design stuff that we can do in the urban area, but we can give you basics. You know? 